The following program contains testimonies of true stories by people who have received divine healing through the ministry of VPA. They gave these voluntarily without any directives from VPA. We advise you to always seek your medical practitioner's advice before you make any decisions based on this program. Get ready for incredible testimonies in VPA. Mark of rejection, knee success syndrome, spirit of almost death. Say so the pure in hearts, we see their God in action. Of course. And I come for only one week. That week I pray. When I did shower, before I did it, the brought with she for five years. He terminated. I did this. Church Jesus! Church Jesus! That after you came nearer her when you were talking, she felt the spirit of depression lift out of her body again. Immediately I stepped into that green door. Something just dropped. And ever since then, Church Jesus! It's continuously. That weight sits on my heart that there will be no stones. Look at testimony every week. Every week. And the words come to my spirit that says, I will have mercy to whom I will have mercy. Stay tuned for more incredible testimonies in VPA. When God created the world, it was without form and void. And the spirit of the Lord was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. In the same way, the Spirit of the Lord has raised up this vessel from humble beginnings, from nothing to something, from zero to hero, from grass to grace. Pastor Alex is uniquely called into the ministry and has been given a great commission by God to raise up a people of purpose, vision, and integrity. He preaches the truth and delivers people from their affliction through the help of the Holy Spirit. He is endowed by God with an unusual anointing for healing, miracles, extraordinary breakthroughs and deliverance. His prophetic ministry is characterized by signs and wonders following. With deep insight into the Word and power of God, his timely teaching of holiness and righteousness has brought deliverance to multitudes across the world. He has been blessed to host and minister alongside some of the greatest men and women of God in this generation. A dynamic people's pastor, he believes that your time has come. He is the presiding pastor and general overseer of Victoria's Pentecostal Assembly, a fast-growing church with its headquarters in London, England. He is happily married to Patricia, and they are blessed with three lovely children. Please give a warm welcome to God's humble servant, Pastor Alex Omokudu. She's thanking the God of VPA for healing. First of all, she had an itching in her leg that she almost felt like pulling out her leg when she itches this. But the night we anointed her legs here, that is gone. She's also thanking the God of VPA for restoration. Her sister's marriage, she said they were separated for two years. And the way they separated, it seems as if they will never. She said it can only take the God of VPA, the God of Pastor. Can we appreciate Jesus for well, thanking for the restoration for everything? She's thanking God of VPA for lifting her out of depression once more. She said the message you pre preached on Wednesday, that after she, you came nearer her when you were talking, she felt the spirit of depression lift out of her body again. She, Why are you depressed? But well, you have Jesus. Look at mirror. I said, thank you, Jesus. Look at mirror. I said, God, I am wonderfully and powerfully made. I am beautiful. Depression. Get out of my life. That's what happened on Wednesday. And she's thanking God for delivering her from emotional attachment to her ex as well. And she's thanking God for miraculously paying her direct debit. She cancelled it over a, a year ago, but somehow it's been paid. It's been investigated. There's no source of payment. God, we appreciate Jesus for the thank you for evading our life, Lord. Do more in our life in Jesus' name. Jesus. Daddy, yeah. it is truly an honor to worship in VPA. This woman used to live in Italy, Daddy. Then they came to England. She lives in Bristol. I was watching you on TV. But she had an issue, which is a blood issue for five years. Hmm. Daddy, the God of VPA, has healed that. It's all dried up now. Church Jesus! Daddy, God. 
the way God drops blood issue here is beyond imagination. You know what? Jesus particularized and experienced about it. Jesus demonstrated it. He said, greater what shall we do? So if Jesus is opposed, if you are in Christ, we are meant to do greater works. We are meant to continue where he stopped. And he will never stop. He's continuously. Just look at testimony. Every week. Every week. Every week. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I'm not in this country at all. I'm uh, in Nigeria. I came from Nigeria. My daughter invited me. Uh-huh. My daughter lives in uh, Italy. That blood issue, I'm going to many hospitals. The doctor say no way. They cannot, cannot stop. I take many drugs in, the, in Nigeria before I came with my daughter in Italy. They, I go and admit them. They admit me three, three times in Italy. The blood didn't stop. So now my daughter says she wants to relocate to London. So you now come to Bisto. Where is she, daughter? I, come. He's there. He just come to the, he now came to Bisto. I said, come there. Before I come, they say, my senior son told me, say, there, there, are, there, are, there is some pastor that is, that is special in this London. When you reach here, when you reach here, you will try to locate here. That pastor Alex. God is special in me. I'm not special. God is special in me. What is special? Miracle. God is one brutalized. Is special. Go ahead. So, so as I we came now, I, 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 I tell my daughter, I say, I want to you to choose two nurse from channel there for preaching. I want to watch channel. I want to check the one that my daughter, my son told me in uh, Italy that mm-hmm. I will look this channel. He said, if I feel go to Pastor Alice and I church, and I say, my, my daughter came now, he live in a uh, pistol. So it's too difficult. I was watching that channel. Even so, this is my baby self. Jesus, Jesus, when we look, he cannot look at another channel. Go, no, Jesus, Jesus was saying Jesus is at home. So, and I look down. And I say one day, I say my, my daughter, and I was still admitted in hospital. When I came back, I said my daughter, I want to go to this church. I have seen many testimony. They have give testimony for blood issue, many things. I say, ah, I beg. He say, I don't know anywhere. I say, I can, I will go by the name of Jesus. And I pray. I say, God, if I reach where I want to drop, God will give person that will direct me to take me to back. Imagine, so I imagine. So my daughter. He, he, a hotel, he booked me for a hotel. I no. don't know where I found that hotel. Tare Tazi to come here. And I come for only one week. That week I pray. When I did shower before three days, he brought Ushi for five years. He terminated. I didn't see any blood. Church Jesus! Church Jesus! Jesus, my holy friend. Hey! He has delivered me. My heart is full of joy. I will ever praise you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Follow that man's life and harassment to your dreams over. Go ahead, never like him and every woman in Jesus' name. Can we appreciate Jesus? That is thanking God for passing his lifeguard exam to okay. rescue people that could get into trouble in water. So he's thanking God. Please be very careful. Always be led. Before you go there, anoint yourself. Please, I beg you, eh? Love you, boy.
Be careful and God will lead you. Amen. He, will, he will protect you. Give me the oil. I will hear good news about you. I will hear good news about you. I will hear good news about you. Why not think about winning life to Jesus? Mm -hmm. Think about it. Look at the passion in you. It's a passion. And let the passion of Jesus take over you. Amen. I go and do more for Jesus. In Jesus' name. Let's hear from you. Praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. Daddy, I thank God for your life. Anytime I see this boy, you don't know how I feel. When I see him, I see God. I go to arrest. The mother came here to come and see where his son transformed. A mother. An Afghan. Don't say your mother is an Af Afghan. Yes, Let's hear it by you. Daddy, um, I just want to remind everyone that your God is real. Um, my two cousins here, they're from, they're from Paris, France. They don't speak English. Um, they were playing professional football for Marseille in France. And then, um, because they don't believe in God and his churches and everything, and then within three or four months, they went back home to Congo to see, visit their family. And when they came back, everything just went down, downhill. They got released. Nothing is working for them. Stagnant. Give me the oil. And then, and then um, they will call them for trials, football trials, football tests all over Europe. Put your shoe quickly. And, and whenever they will go, something will just make them say no. Mark of rejection. Near success syndrome. Spirit of almost there. And then they came to visit me. Um, they came last week. And I was watching uh, VPA on television. And they asked me, why is, there, why is there a long queue of testimonies? I told them, because God is there at work. And they told me, um, they told me, if I go there, do they speak French? I said, no. But they said, they don't need to understand the English. They know God is there. There's a higher power dominating in that place. That's what they said. They believe that if they come to this man of God, it is not you, but because you allow God to use you. He said, the, the, the God that we serve in here will turn the situation around. That's why they have come in. I don't know if you know that this boss is a pastor. This boss speaking alone is a pastor. I will encourage you to the last. Don't Amen. ever go back. It does not worth it. <laughs> do, do you can know their leg? Know their leg. Get, get a note here and know their leg. I know their leg. I know the wrong one leg, yes? That's the cross. I know, I did teach him more. That is the cross. The cross. Oh, to, you see, I'm, I did teach him more. The only ghost teaching you are more. Keep, keep. The only ghost is teaching him. Give me your leg. You know what? In your presence, I am God. Yes, it's shopping for 10 years. And on Sunday, as soon as she came in here, something went down on her. And see, that day, that paid it disappeared. And it just left. Your time has come. Take more of marriage. Um, I came from the Republic of Ireland. I've been watching Daddy for the past four months. On TV, but I normally watch Benny. So one day I was watching uh, God's channel and I stopped into VPA. And ever since then, I can't stop watching VPA. I've been telling everybody around me, go to VPA, go to VPA. So um, I, told my, I told my husband, I said, I have to go to VPA. There's something in that church. So I came to church. I, came, I traveled from Ireland on Saturday, and I came to church on Sunday. Immediately, I stepped into that green door. Something just dropped. From my, and ever since then, Church Jesus! Touch She's thanking God for a new job. She's thanking the God of VPA for healing her father from cancer or the liver, from prostate enlargement. 
and from diabetes. Her daddy is in Nigeria, but she kept running the picture here. Thank you for the healing. Put your hand here. Oh, receive it now. Pick it again. That yoke is strong. Forever. She's thanking God for promotion in her job and for definite stay for the whole family. Daddy, this promotion is, I mean, she's been looking for double job to meet up. Father, thank so you, Lord, promoted above for the manager. promotion, Lord. Quickly. She's thanking the God of EPA for the joy of salvation. She says she was like a sheep without a shepherd. When she came here, you mentioned it. And after she did her program here, Let's everything. hear, let's hear, let's hear. When I came, you said to me, we are like running around in one circle late. What is happening? I just cried. You said, all you two beware. From that day, my spirit came down. And then the, the testimonies I have today is for Saturday, last Sunday. You said the storm is going to be, a, I mean, it's going to be a storm on Sunday. But you said they, there will be no storm on that Sunday. As I'm driving home in that Sunday, that weight sits on my heart that there will be no storm. And the words come to my spirit that says, I will have mercy to whom I will have mercy. As I was driving next to my parking, there's parking everywhere. There's a lot of trees in that my parking. There's four or five cars left and right. But where I used to park, I didn't want to park there. I just parked next door. There's trees or they fall on the top of those cars, smash them down. But my car was saved that day. Shout Jesus! We are in the world. We are not of the world. They say there will be storm. I'm not part of the storm. Hi. Your presence is too much here, Lord. Father, thank you, Lord, for your daughter, Lord Jesus, for honoring your word. Father, in the area of marriage, again, settle. Come on, testimony. In the name of Jesus. She's thanking God for a mighty, mighty blessing. The thing she shipped back to Ghana that was supposed to be collected since May, she had no news about it. Then it accumulated demorage, a huge demorage, that she decided, I'm not going to do anything about it. I'm going to abandon the whole thing. But what God of VPA did was to cancel everything, and they gave her a call and said, come and take your free of charge. <laughs> can we appear Jesus? That can only be Jesus at work. God can so eat and make it alive. She's thanking the God of EPA for the end of affliction in her life. She said she had her period and afterwards another one came. And she rushed back here and said, I have to buy the truck suit and wear it to sleep. Because this will signify the end of the affliction. And that's what happened, Daddy. She just bought the truck suit here, wore it to sleep, and the bleeding ceased and has not occurred since Bleeding ceased. Oh, Father, thank you for removing this affliction in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Church. Hallelujah. My wife and I would like to thank God for his faithfulness and for his mercy. We give God the glory. We were in church at the right time. And the Lord told Daddy to tell the church that we should sow a seed and ask God for anything. After the seed, baby got pregnant. And today, God has given us a bouncing baby boy. I just want to thank God. We appreciate for that. Jesus. Father, thank you for that which you have done in their life. For putting the devil wrong and God right. Your time has come. She's testifying to the glory of God and thanking God for delivering her after drinking water during the night vigil. What happened was in a dream, a snake bit her and dried up. But after she drank that water during the night vigil, Daddy, she started feeling burning sensation there. And the power of God touched her, she said. Father, and thank you, Lord, for what you have done in her life, for your deliverance in her life, for terminating every of darkness in her life. Let's have sugar for her life. <laughs> Lovely woman. This one left the home. I said, well, told the boy, no more. I have had the word of God, no more. And today she's in the, in, the, in the church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. The, the pure, we see their God in action. Say so the pure in hearts, we see their God in action. Of course. Pastor, me, I was in Sierra Leone because I'm in Sierra Leone. When I was there, my family, my parents, all of them, they are Muslim. My father is a good Muslim, pray every day, five daily prayers. So, but when I was there, 
my heart was Christian. Yeah. Then I told my father, I said, I want to go to the Christian school. He doesn't question me, he just took me there. When he took me there, I was there when the war broke out in Sierra Leone. I came to Europe. I started going to the church. I was there. All I want in the church just to sing. So I was, then the pastor said, okay, you can sing. I was singing there. Then my voice, then the pastor told me, say, God wants to use you. Then the, my choir leader told me, when you are singing, you have to you, you have to uh, greet your voice as okay. But in that church, I didn't know that they have a society. Because I don't, I, I'm in Oshay, I don't know nothing. Only I want to, I just want to praise God because I love the Lord. He was looking for God, not knowing <laughs> that wala. Pastor, they had attacked me. Almost died every day. Out they break arrows, they are coming. Harrods, I don't know where they attack my children, attack me. All my friends, they are Muslim, they are, they are okay, afflicted, do, but they are with let sickness. Me do what I'm led to then do. Jesus came to me with a cross. I said, What? I said, Oh God, you revealed to me your holy begotten son. He said, For I know the plan I have for you. They are not plan for disaster, but for good to give your future and your hope. I didn't know we had this word in the Bible. I called a pastor. He told me, Elizabeth, come. I will deliver you. I will concentrate you. He said, because you have so many things in you. He said, God wants to use you mightily. When I get there, I was sleeping. God revealed to me the pastor. He was wearing black. Then I call him and say, look, as I'm not coming. He said, I already take day off for you. Please come. The devil wants to destroy your, the plan of God in your life. Then the Lord spoke to me again. He said, for I know the plan I have for you. There are no plan for disaster. But for good. You are saying it's very correct. It's correct. God, I know when God wants to speak to somebody, he speaks in that way. Your time has come. God will take you out of a Muslim to do something in your life. That's God, it takes you out of darkness. Daddy, our husband tuned to the channel, they watch you in Edinburgh, that is in Scotland. But the reason why they were here today, Daddy, they were listening, this is their first day here. Then they saw you, but she has an issue with her leg. Where's your husband? Come, if you're here. The husband, come now, don't be here, come. <laughs> He's the one that actually watched the channel, she doesn't. But she had an issue because she watched what God was doing in VPA. And that is why they've come for the first time that if you bless How them, long you come. How have you married now? How long have you married? Seven years now. Seven years. Uh -huh. Put ad on the stomach. I speak to it now. Speak to the stomach. You are a small pastor, you know that. When I mean you are small, you are small in the job, you are a pastor. Huh? Do you know that before? You are a pastor. What do you do now? Army. You are an army officer. But you are, you are, as well as you are a pastor. If you retire, go and be a pastor straight, don't waste time. Father, declare. You come back here with testimony. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, come back with testimony. Come back with testimony. It so shall it be in Jesus' name. So you came from Scotland. What do you want God to do for you? It's possible. It's already done. Come back with testimony. Come back with what? Testimony. But lift up your eyes, Lord. Lord, I know I'm an army officer. I'm here, I know I'm an army. But I, I receive what you said that you want to use me. In Jesus' name. They are thanking God for baby Elijah that came following your prophetic instructions to bring a pram to the house of the Lord. So this is their first one. This is their first one. After four years, they started desperately looking for another one. The baby wasn't coming at all, at all. So a friend directed her to this place because of what God is doing in this house. And they came and you asked them, everyone looking for a fruit of the womb to bring a pram. 
and they did. And before this baby came, this child have already went to school and told them that the mother is having a baby boy. Despite the fact that the doctors have even told her that there's no more chance of having it. But you say to them there is a chance. And this boy told all, her fr all his friends and even the school. I declare movement in your life. No more stagnation. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for your son that you will use in this air time. Thank you for the one you are about to use too. Thank you for everything, Lord. The next one is coming. That will be a woman is coming. It's coming. I say is. 